Hello and uh, welcome back to our next three minute questions here with JDG, covering lots of common lettings and sales questions um, that we get posed. Now you're in the hot seat this week again. I know, so certainly am. Your turn and a little Please bit Please be kind. Yeah, I know, a bit of a challenging topic this week. I've you know, been a bit mean and got you a bit of a challenging one. Um, so this question we get asked a lot, it's again something that comes up a lot, especially in your department. And the question is, why do you do AML checks and what are they? What are they okay. for? So first of all, AML stands for anti-money laundering. And since 2018, it has actually been a European directive that we do have to conduct these checks. The reason being, uh, actually buying property is a common way for criminals to actually launder, clean up money. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, a lot of people presume that these things only happen in the big cities like London, Manchester, Birmingham. But the reality is it actually happens all over the UK and quite often even smaller cities, rural communities can be more vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So an AML check. So every time we um, list a property for sale or somebody buys a property, we have to conduct these checks on all parties. Um, they're actually quite simple to do. In the first instance, we have to actually prove you're you. So simple ways there, passport, driving license, the utility usuals. bill. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and of course, if you're selling a property, we have to prove the ownership. So again, very simple, title deed, that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. If you're buying a property, of course, though, we're not checking you own it because you're buying it. So what we have to do then is actually, where's the money coming from? Oh, okay, just to make sure it's not come from somewhere dodgy. So what sort of things, how, how can you prove where well, funds come from? Well, quite simple. So let's take a first-time buyer, for example. So a first-time buyer is going to have a deposit, mm -hmm. um, and it could be a matter of that deposit is saved up in their bank account or bank statement. Mm -hmm. um, if it's gifted from a parent, we have to prove where it's been gifted from. If it's been inherited, it could be, for instance, in a will. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. But there's also things like, for instance, the mortgage offer, because if they're borrowing the money, and of course the mortgage offer, and that's tracing where that money is coming from. Mm. Um, sometimes it's actually, so for me, I actually purchased with set funds from the sale of my own house. So I had to prove obviously that I was selling that property. So again, things like the memorandum of sale and just checking there. It's the good old paperwork, isn't it? But it's, it's one of these things we have to do, isn't it? It's, it is. It's know, annoying, it's another hoop, but it's one of those things. It is, it's frustrating. I understand people, you know, paperwork, we all hate it. Mm -hmm. But we do have to do our due diligence. Exactly. So this one we could probably talk on for ages. But if you do have any specific questions about your circumstances, just give us a buzz. We're, we're more than happy to help with the guys in the office. They're all trained to yeah. look through it, aren't And we they? can chat you through it, even help you through it. Fantastic. Well, join us next week again for our next question. <laughs>